Speaking of revolution, Joy Behar over on The View uh, just epitomized so much of the utterly ignorant, arrogant uh, views of her side, especially when they're talking about guns. She, she, the left is, is trying to grab guns. I think they know it's basically a lost cause, but she thinks she's identified the one way in which Republicans might turn against the Second Amendment. And that's if those black people get guns. Here's the thing. Once black people get guns in this country, the gun laws will change. Trust me. That's what happened with the Black Panther. Black people have guns. Trust me on that. Trust me, okay? Republicans are far more racist than they care about the Second Amendment. Now, this is obviously a very stupid statement from Joy Behar, but it's especially stupid because she's speaking to a black woman here on the panel, on The View, and just moments earlier, but maybe, I don't know, two minutes earlier, the black woman on the panel blew up Joy's theory. All right, I just say this real quick as a gun owner. Yeah. There are people in this country that genuinely own guns. You catch that? <laughs> you catch that? Hi, I, a black woman, as a gun owner. And then she goes on and, and talks about how we don't need all of these guns, and she's trying to find this moderate position on it. But she just told Joy Behar Yes, I own a gun. And then what does Joy Behar do? She says, oh, shut up, black lady. Hold on. You're getting in the way of my narrative. No, black people, they don't have guns. And once, and those Republicans hate black people. Shh, shh. I said, stop talking, black lady. I'm trying, stop telling me about your actual experience. I'm trying to express my views about your experience. And black people, yeah, I know, I know. There's a statistic that says one in four black Americans already own guns. Yeah, forget about that for a second. I'm trying to make a point about how racist you Republicans are. Speaking of The View, there, there was another radical just showed up to The View, not one of those ladies, but the Joe Biden Education Secretary. The Joe Biden Education Secretary shows up on The View to address this question of how to protect schools. One of the, whatever you think about gun control, whatever you think about AR-15s, whatever you think about whatever, we should all be able to agree that if you want to protect schools, there are some basic measures that will help. Lock the doors. I think, is locking the doors ideological? Is that, is that a partisan battle now? Just lock most of the doors? Have an armed guard there. Is that having an armed guard to stop the bad guys? The, the, I guess the cops are ideological now. I guess they are partisan now. Really shouldn't be. Maybe let teachers who are law-abiding gun owners, maybe let them carry their guns. You notice that the shooters always attack gun-free zones. They always attack soft targets. So maybe... Harden up those targets a little bit, you won't get as much shooting. One of the ladies on The View asks Joe Biden's education secretary about this thought, and he doesn't like it. Some Republicans have proposed arming teachers to stop these shootings. My mother is a teacher. Um, in Ohio, the governor is preparing to sign a bill that would lower the training requirements for a teacher to carry a gun in the classroom from 700 hours to 24 hours. In your view, do you support teachers carrying guns in the classroom? Those are some of the stupidest proposals I've heard in all my time as an educator. So that's my answer to that. Listen, we need to make sure we're doing sensible legislation, making sure our our schoolhouses are safe as much as possible. But to say that we're going to arm teachers to protect students, what happens when a teacher goes out on maternity leave? Are we going to give the substitute of the day a gun. What this shows, Sonny, is that some people are clueless when it comes to what's happening in our schools. Some people are in fact clueless. That's true. I I think uh, Dr. Miguel Cardona here, the secretary groomer of education, wearing his little progress pride pin on his lapel, I think he might be the clueless one because he doesn't even understand the, the argument for arming teachers. He proved that at the end. He said at the top, this is a, d- a dumb idea. It's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Doesn't quite explain why. And then he, a little bit later, he gets to it. He says, what? What happens when you have a substitute teacher? You're going to give him a gun? That's the, the, the argument for arming teachers is not that you require every teacher to have a gun. The argument for arming teachers is that you have some teachers with guns. And, and by the way, you don't know necessarily which teachers have the guns. And so when an assailant or a would-be assailant comes into the school, pretty much everyone he sees potentially could be armed. And when that's the case, people tend to be a little bit more polite. 
people tend to be a little more cautious and reticent. If they go into a school and they know for a fact no one is armed, then they can run amok. They can do whatever they want. But you do, the point is not to have every single person they're packing, you know, arm the third graders too. The point is to just have some guns out there and you don't know who's got them and you could turn the corner to, to wreak havoc and then boom, there's the gym coach. Boom, there's the history teacher. And you just, you just don't know. That's what Joy Behar was proving up there when she made her stupid point about, about black gun ownership. All she's showing is that she truly has no idea what, how, one, what black people think about guns, and two, what conservatives think. She thinks that if conservatives knew that black people were getting legal guns, that they would turn on the Second Amendment. Many of you listening right now are conservatives. Many of you listening right now are black, too. Is that, is that how you feel? No, of course not. And, but I, I give her points for sincerity. I think she probably sincerely believes that, and she's just completely mistaken. Uh, Dr. Groomer here, Secretary Groomer, probably sincerely believes that the arguments that conservatives are advancing are are for arming all of the teachers because he's got wind blowing in between his ears and can't process what we're actually saying. He probably just doesn't know. And he can chalk that up to ignorance and a lack of curiosity. But that is not the argument that we are making. Yet again, we see something that social scientists have shown again and again over the years, which is that conservatives understand the libs much, much better than the libs understand conservatives. By the way, the, the argument for arming schools for putting guards, at least, at schools, was just proven correct yesterday. There was a man outside of an Alabama elementary school who was demonstrating aggressive behavior. He was walking around. He was yelling. He was trying to get into the school. It was unclear what was going on. And a school, a, this is just being reported by AL.com. A school resource officer on site responded, talked with the man, and called for backup. Then a second officer arrived an altercation ensued, and the suspect was killed. He was fatally shot. Officials have not yet said if the man was armed. Doesn't necessarily matter if the man was armed. If the man was suggesting that he might be armed, he's trying to break into an elementary school. He's demonstrating very aggressive behavior. Two weeks after a mass killing at an elementary school, this is what's going to happen. Who knows what would have happened had that guard not been there, had there not been good guys with guns on the site. One officer suffered minor injuries. He was taken to the hospital. No kids were harmed. The kids may not, not even have known what was going on outside. But that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. What, you want, you want to have people with guns to protect people from bad people with guns? That was stupid. How stupid? Do you, how out of touch do you have to be with not, not just modern society, but with the basics of human nature and self-defense and incentives to make that kind of a comment? I'm so glad you liked that clip. Now, if you wouldn't mind, ring, smash, like, click, bang, wang, what about a bing bang? Go to The Michael Knowles Show. Get those notifications. Head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe, leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.